Hello guys, welcome back. We have been using LPG or liquid petroleum gas for a very long time in our households and our kitchen for cooking as well as in industries, right? However, if it is not handled properly, LPG leakage can lead to disastrous consequences such as fires, explosions as well as other health hazards. In this video, we will be exploring a practical solution for detecting LPG leakage using a super cheap and simple DIY circuit. This could be a really good science project for your school or colleges. I will be sharing everything to make this one yourself. I will explain the circuit, explain the code and as a bonus, I will be sharing some really useful tips for you that can make your DIY life a lot more easier. So let's get started. Like I mentioned earlier, we only need some cheap components for this project. First thing we need is an Arduino Nano, which will be the brain of the project. Then we will need a gas sensor, which in this case is MQ2 sensor, which will detect the LPG concentration in the air. Those are the two components we truly need for this project. But I will be adding a few more components like LDR, temperature sensor as well as humidity sensor for some additional functionality which I will be using for the next project but these are totally optional. You don't have to use these sensors in order to detect LPG leakage. So let's take a look at the circuit first. I will share the whole circuit with you in our Altium 365 workspace from where you can access all our projects for free by downloading Altium tab from the link in the description down below. And guys, by the way, this is Altium PCB Designer. Altium is a PCB designer that can be used to create PCBs for hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. If you're a DIY electronics enthusiast, you're gonna love it. Altium subscription includes something called Altium 365, which lets you design, share, and manufacture your project everything in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage lets you share your designs and ideas with your teammates or clients easily within minutes. Altium 365 lets you make fast and accurate decisions by providing real-time component data including lifecycle status, pricing as well as availability data from Octopart for millions of components. It also helps you bring together your previously separate component libraries into one secure location which will be accessible to your entire team. You can download and install the free trial version from the description down below. And if you're a student, you get 6 month full license absolutely free. So don't miss out. So guys, this is the circuit. Here we have an Arduino Nano, a gas sensor, LDR and a BME280 sensor. This is the voltage input terminal where we can connect a 9 volt battery or a 12 volt DC adapter. This 7805 voltage regulator will convert any voltage between 7 to 32 volt to a steady 5 volt DC supply. This 5V can be fed to Arduino and other components or if you are using Arduino Nano, you can connect this VIN directly to the VIN pin of Arduino. And then we have a gas sensor. There are different types of gas sensor depending on which gas you want to measure. There are methane sensors, carbon monoxide sensors, LPG sensors and you can choose the one depending on your needs. The output of the gas sensor is connected to pin A1 of Arduino. Then we have optional components like LDR, a trimmer which is connected at this point so that we can adjust the sensitivity of this LDR and the output of the LDR is connected to pin A2 of Arduino. The BME280 is the sensor that we will be using to sense the temperature, humidity as well as the pressure. The VCC pin of BME280 is connected to 3.3 volts of Arduino and the ground is connected to the ground. The SDA and the SEL are connected to SDA and SEL of Arduino. Basically, this is our circuit. You can either assemble all the components in a breadboard and finish your project now itself or you can design your own PCBs using Altium PCB Designer itself. So, once the circuit was finished, I designed a small PCB where I could fix all the components like Arduino Nano, the sensors, regulators and everything properly without using messy wires and cables hanging around. Now, at this point, I would like to give you a small tip that could make your life a lot easier. Before adding the components to your circuit and designing the final project, it's always a good idea to have good knowledge of the components such as specifications, availability as well as the price. For that, I would recommend this free site called Octopart. Octopart is an amazing electronic component search engine. You can use Octopart to get details such as distributor, pricing as well as availability. You can also use Octopart to find components that meet your requirement. You can even purchase the components by clicking the link here itself. Here, you can see that routing is on both sides of the board, which means it's a dual-layer PCB. 
Altium PCB Designer's interactive routing techniques helps us to route tracks in PCBs more quickly than ever before. Once you get the PCB, you can simply assemble all the components and once that's done, it's time for coding. In the setup function, we are simply initializing the serial communication and setting the pin mode for these two pins, D12 and D30. In the loop function, we will be reading the values of analog pin A1 where the gas sensor is connected and storing it in a variable LPG underscore value. With this value, you can do whatever you want. Like ring a buzzer when the value hits a certain threshold or turn on a light or whatever you want basically. For the demo purposes, I will be simply adding the code to print certain messages in the serial monitor and ring the buzzer when the value hits a certain threshold. Now let's upload the code and see what happens. Ok guys, the code is uploaded. Now let's open the serial monitor as well as the serial plotter. Now let's bring this lighter closer to the sensor and see what happens to the value. Now that was easy right? It's time for you to try it yourself. So if you have any doubts make sure you ask it in the comments down below and if you like this video please give this video a like and for more videos make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. So see you in the next video.